Welcome to 2021's Tales and Tales Summer Reading Adventure. I'm Catherine, and I'm so excited to share author and illustrator Ed Emberley's Way to Draw Animals with you today. This is part one of our eight part series on how to draw animals. Today we'll learn how to draw a spider, a chick, a ladybug, and three ways to draw a porcupine. When I was a child, I learned how to draw animals using Ed Emberley's book. And I've had this book for a long, long time. Now the High Plains Library District has newer copies of this very book, in addition to some other books on how to draw things by Ed Emberley. And they are available for checkout. So we hope you'll check them out and bring them home. Now to draw all of the animals in this video series, you'll just need to know how to draw a few simple shapes, letters, numbers, and things. To make all of the animals in this video series, you'll need to be able to draw a triangle, circle, and rectangle, the letters Y, J, L, C, D, S, V, W, M, and U, the numbers 1, 2, 3, and a small dot, large dot, a bird track, a curlicue, and a scratchy scribble. All right, grab your paper and some crayons or colored pencils and let's get started. Let's draw a spider. You'll need to be able to draw these shapes and letters and things. You can choose whichever colors you'd like, but I chose orange, green, and black. First, you'll start by drawing the spider's body so you'll need to draw a large circle. You can trace around an object if that's easier, and then color it in. Next, you'll grab another color, so green in this case, and draw two small circles on top of the large circle. You'll also color those in, and these will be the spider's eyes. Now you're ready to make the legs. You'll make four small curves on one side of the spider and four other curved lines on the other side for the spider's legs. Next, grab your black crayon and make two small circles inside the spider's eyes and then a line coming down onto its head for its silken thread. And then you'll add a U to make a happy spider. Or if your spider is not having a good day, you can make an upside down U to make a grumpy spider. The easiest way to do this is to turn the spider upside down and draw your U. Now let's get ready to make our chick. You can pick whatever colors you'd like. I chose yellow and black. To make the chick, you'll need to be able to make these shapes, letters, and things. Then, take your yellow crayon and draw a circle. Again, you can trace around an object if that's easier, and color it in. This will be the chick's body. Then grab your black crayon and you'll make the chick's eye by drawing a small dot. Now you're ready to make the chick's beak, so rotate your paper and you'll draw the letter V. Rotate your paper again and now you're going to make the chick's legs by making a larger letter V. For the chick's feet, you'll make some of those bird tracks. Again, you're making a small letter V with a line in the middle of it. There's one foot, and let's make another foot. Lastly, you need to give the chick a wing. So to do this, you'll make a backwards number three. Are you ready to make the ladybug? Here we go. To make the ladybug, you'll need to be able to draw these shapes and letters and things. We'll start with our red crayon and make a circle, a large circle, and then you'll color it in. 
This will be the body of the ladybug. Then grab your black crayon and you're going to make a letter D by making a straight line and then a large belly or semicircle. And you'll also color that in. Then rotate your paper and you're going to draw a straight line from the letter D to the bottom of the ladybug's body. Now you're ready to make the legs. You'll use some of those same curved lines. Make three on one side and three on the other. Then rotate your ladybug and now you're ready to make its antenna. You'll draw the letter J and then another letter J, but this time a backwards one. Rotate your ladybug again, and now you're ready to add its spots. To do this, draw a couple of black circles, some on one side of the ladybug and some on the other one. Great job. Now let's make our porcupine. To do this, you'll need to be able to make the uppercase D, some short brown lines, longer black lines, and a small black dot. Grab your brown crayon to make the body of the porcupine. First, you'll draw the letter D with that straight line and then the big belly or semicircle, and you'll color it in. and then rotate it. Now you're ready to make the legs. You'll make four short brown lines, two at the front and two of the back. Grab your black crayon and do a small dot for the porcupine's eye. Now you're ready to make its quills. You'll make eight or so larger lines going up from the back of the porcupine all the way to the end of its body. There he is. Now your porcupine is ready for a nap. So let's make a sleepy porcupine. Again, we'll make the letter D. And color it in. Then rotate your page. Since the porcupine's sleeping, its legs are under him. Its eye is closed, so you'll just make a small black line, and then you'll add those porcupine quills again by making eight or so longer lines. Once the porcupine's had a nap, it's ready to jump over a rock. You'll need to be able to make these shapes. Again, we're just adding a gray or black letter D. We'll start by drawing the rock. Again, that is going to be the gray or black letter D. So you'll make the uppercase D by making that line and add its belly or semicircle and color it in. To make the porcupine's body, again, you're going to make the letter D. Just turn it a little bit on an angle so it looks like it's jumping and use that brown crayon. For its legs, you're going to give them a little bit of movement by adding a slight curve and not making the legs so straight. Adding two on the back and two to the front. Grab your black crayon and you'll make the porcupine's eye. And now you're ready to add its quills. Your porcupine is a great jumper. I hope you had fun today drawing a spider, a chick, a ladybug, and a few different porcupines. Thank you, Ed Emberly, for teaching us how to draw animals. We'll see you next time for part two of this video series.